All right, let's continue on with chapter four. Try to wrap this chapter up soon. Um, we've already talked about weight quite a bit. I just want to formalize it here. Weight is the, the force due to gravity. So we've already talked about this in a sense. Now, Newton's second law says that F equals ma. So if I'm talking about the force weight, that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. And we called that g. So the weight is going to be whatever your mass is times 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, remember that we called g positive 9.8 even though the acceleration due to gravity is in the negative direction. The way we'll reconcile that is that whenever we draw our force weight vectors, as we've been doing already, those vectors will point downward. All right, now we can take that, the, the weight of an object, and Newton's universal law of gravitation, and it's pretty simple to derive the acceleration due to gravity, because we know that F equals mg, that's the weight of an object, and then also the force between a person and the Earth, from Newton's universal law of gravitation is going to be uh, g m of the person mass of the earth divided by the radius of the earth squared and then if we set these two equal to one another and say mg and then we can solve for g so we have a nice way to solve for the acceleration due to gravity That's only dependent upon the radius of the planet and the mass of the planet. So notice it's linear related, linearly related to the mass of the planet and inverse square relationship with the radius. So from this, you know, it's very easy to determine the mass of the Earth. And this is what a, a NASA mission called GRACE is doing. GRACE uh, is measuring the acceleration due to gravity, measuring the acceleration due to gravity uh, as it orbits around the planet, there are actually two satellites that are orbiting around the planet, and they measure very accurate values for the acceleration due to gravity. And from that, they're able to determine the mass of the planet in particular spots. Let's see, I think I have the website up. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is the NASA Grace mission. If you want to uh, look it up, you can just find just look for NASA Grace. And they can provide a view of the Earth that takes into account the mass. So this would be nice, like for example, if you're looking for water tables or oil deposits or, or things where the, the mass of the Earth or the makeup of the mass of the Earth varies. Okay, so the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.8. We've already seen. Uh, what is the acceleration due to on, the, on other celestial bodies? On the sun, the sun is a lot bigger than the Earth. The mass is a lot is a lot greater. So the acceleration due to gravity is is uh, greater on the sun. Of course, the radius is also bigger, but the mass is so much bigger than the radius that it counterbalances the, the larger radius. Because remember, it's uh, g is g m over r squared. So it has a much larger mass than that of the Earth. Similarly, the moon is a lot smaller. The mass is smaller on Mars has a smaller mass. Uh, so how can a body with less mass than the Earth have a greater acceleration? Oh, let's, actually, let's just skip this section altogether, okay? And we'll move on to the next part. But you do need to know that this acceleration due to gravity is related to the, uh, the mass of the planet that you're standing on and the radius, and in that way that it's related, and then also how we can find that uh, from Newton's universal law of gravitation.